Force again can be an extremely enjoyable pastime and a hobby. I mean, it brings families together and gets you out in the open air. When you're force again in the NT, you just never know what you might find. My name is Robin Lawrence. I work with Mineral Titles within the Northern Territory Government. Fosking in the NT, it's done by a lot of people, families, tourists come through the place and the things that they're looking for is gold, gemstones, but they can be looking for stones such as zebra rock. The tools that they use to fossick in the territory are metal detectors, sieves for gemstones and gold pans for panning out gold out of creeks. There are many places to fossick within the Northern Territory from the Red Centre up to the top. At the moment we're just outside Pine Creek at a um, spot that's called Spring Hill and Margaret Diggings is just around the corner. Both these spots up here were gold mining areas. At the present we don't need a permit to fossick. There are declared fossicking areas within the Northern Territory but on proposed fossicking areas such as ones at Spring Hill you do need a permit to go onto their land. Fossing is an activity that is regulated under the Mineral Titles Act and regulations. As the Territory has a lot of historical mining areas, be aware of open mine shafts as well as snakes and other wildlife in the area. Back to your holes and take note for your own safety as well as those with you. The Northern Territory Government has a website for fossicking in the NT which has all the resources on it. You can also use Strike, it's a web-based application that you can jump onto, it's free to use for the public and that will tell you the location of the mine sites and resources in the particular area.